Alright. Oh, shit. Bro, I fucking didn't even see the rules to this. Hurry, someone tell me the rules. What do I do? You're literally... I'm... Ah! Y'all are stressing. I can't load a gun with a soda. I'm sick and tired of you keeping on living. Relax. Your hurts. Your hurts. Get, get, get out of here. I'm not gonna look at you. Nope, stop. I'm not ready to look at you again. Oh! Oh, stop! Stop! Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, if I would have, there was, oh, if I would have known what to do. Oh, how far did I get, though? I think that's the farthest that I've gotten so far. Oh, that was the last round? Holy shit, I made it to the last round. That's the first time. I feel like that's an accomplishment. I, I, I'll take that. I'll take that. That is an accomplishment. Ah, oh, that one got me hyped up. That's as far as I've been. That one got me real hyped up. If I would have known what to do, I feel like I would have lasted longer. I feel like I definitely would have lasted longer. But I didn't know what to do at first. I didn't know why the hell everything was disappearing. Dexter, what the hell are you doing back here? Alright, this one's serious. I'm gonna win this one, guys. I can feel it in my bones like Imagine Dragons. Don't hit me. Don't hit me! What did I just say? What did I just say just then? I said don't hit me, didn't I? And then what'd you do? You hit me. I believe in you. Thank you for believing in me. You know who doesn't believe in me? All these people trampling me. Okay, so uh, all of you need to get exactly behind me. Exactly. Jump, jump, jump. Y'all better not get there before me. That better not be 31 people. That better not be 31 people. Better not be. Good. That's what I thought. Oh, what just happened? Oh, okay. That didn't make any sense. I'm going to get hit by this ball about six more times. All right. I am spectating. <laughs> I thought I was... I forgot that I was eliminated. I hate that shit. <laughs> Makes me so mad. I think that I'm still in the game and then only to be let down again. It's way more lit on Twitch. It is. It's way more lit on Liddy on Twitch. Twitty. Twitch. Sorry I said that. Everyone watch me die on here. Gosh, this one gets on my nerves so much. Oh, why did I jump? Why? Get your balance. Get your balance. Get your balance. Get your balance. Just get it. I'm not. I'm not doing that right now. I'm not. Y'all can go ahead and have that. I'll sit here and wait. Let go of me. Stop sexually harassing me. If you jump square, you won't slip on the seesaw. If you jump square, you won't slip on the seesaw. Jump square? What? Oh. My God. You did... You just gave me the advice of a lifetime. Oh my gosh. You just changed the game. You just changed the game. Thanks <laughs> in just insane. You saved my whole life. Well, I might actually be okay at this game at this now. Oh my god. Oh no! I was doing so swell! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what, did you see that farm flip I just performed? Mm, I'm waiting. Oh my goodness. This is the furthest that I have been this direction. Am I about to do something right now? Oh, this is the farthest that I have gotten <laughs> on this area. Wow. No, sir. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sir. This way. This is literally as far as I have gotten in this area, and I'm proud of myself to- I just fell. Can I grab this? Shit. Who just jumped up there like- like it was okay? Push me up here. Thank you. Oh, no! Oh, wow. 
Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Get off me! Oh, okay, we're good right here. Don't grab me again, you f bitch! God, I was right there! I was right there! I'm gonna pass away now. You're 26? Yeah, I'm 26, Aiden. <laughs> oh my god! I was so close. I was so damn close. So close. But yet, I don't. I'm back. Uh-oh. Amani's back. What's up, bud? I'm a girl. Boy! 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 Look at that. Not Amani, I'm she's a, a girl. girl. When I say boy, I say an excitement. <laughs> I want to ask you for help, but it is so dirty. What? <laughs> what? What? Help for what? Do I want to know? Maybe I don't want to know. I don't know. I don't know if I want to know. I, did I make that? I can't remember if I made it or not. Yeah, I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, asked a good question. He's got a friend who is interested in him. And they're both boys. Uh, so I'm going to give an example that I had when I had first, uh, I guess, came out. I, want, I don't even like using the word came out because I am who I am. I don't feel like you have to come out to be yourself. You could obviously still be his friend. Just let it be known. I made a best friend he was literally the first person that I fell in love with and I told him straight up you've got to kind of not pressure pressure it into him that you're straight but definitely like let him know that you're still there for him that you're still his friend that you still want to be his friend let him know that you still want to be his friend but you just don't feel that way be there still support him if he tries to come on to you that in general he needs to understand, he definitely needs to understand limits. If uh, he tried to kiss you, then that's kind of wrong on him because in a way that's that that's not how he should be reacting to it. I just got knocked off, didn't I? Let me... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? This, this works. <laughs> uh -uh. This is it right here. This is it. <laughs> One second, bud. Cause I've got, oh no! It doesn't matter if you're straight, if you're gay. People that come on to you repeatedly when you've told them that you're not into them, regardless of whatever, it still shouldn't happen. So don't feel bad that you're, if you're, if you have to tell them repeatedly that you're straight and you're not into him, just, I mean, just do that. Repeatedly tell him. Uh, he doesn't need to be pressuring you into anything because he is who he is, but you're also who you are. Be there with him for the experience. Because it's going to mean a lot to him in the long run. Uh, with me and my, the guy that I fell in love with, I had to kind of like distance myself for, God, like a year and a half. Because I fell in love with him and then I moved on with life. And he was kind of still in my life for like the three years he was gone. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's kind of tricky. But y'all can get through it. If he needs to distance himself. He, he needs to figure himself out and figure out what he needs to do about having feelings for you <laughs> uh all you can do all you can do buddy is just be there support him and as long as he wants to be there he's good but hopefully he doesn't end up hurting himself in the process i am i'm in a relationship with someone right now and i've been in a relationship with them for two years so i am and that's that's another point like Gosh, you're 14. He's probably somewhere in that age range as well. God, so there's so much growing up to do, so much. And he'll figure he'll figure stuff out. Uh, like I said, if, as long as you're there to support him and stuff like that, even in the long run, like it'll mean it'll mean a lot. It'll mean so much. And me and the guy that I was talking about are still friends. We've been friends for going on like 10 years. We uh, we've been yeah we've been friends for 10 years now. <laughs> so uh, y'all can it's definitely an obstacle that y'all can get through. Uh, just insane on Twitch said should just be honest about how you feel if he starts being pushy you should 
try and get a little more hard with it so you can let him know. Yeah. And that, that's what I'm saying. A any any kind of sexuality, uh, the other person that is coming on to you, definitely, like, they, they don't need to be pushy about it. If you're not interested, then you're not interested in general. It doesn't matter, uh, gay, straight, whatever. If you're not interested, you're not interested. And the other person needs to respect that and know that I, we, all of us just became a tornado. But in short term, just be there for him. Support him and still be his friend. But don't let him try to push you into being someone that you're not. No, don't do that. And that was for your friend. Don't, no, don't do that. <laughs> it's time to get serious again. Where's my glasses? Where's my serious glasses? I don't have them. That's awkward. Dexter! Dexter, stop eating bugs! Alright, get out my face, Dexter. Stop being cute, get out my face. There's a lot of misconception that a lot of people choose to be this way, and that's, that's not the case at all. I don't, uh... Like, when, when I was first discovering myself, literally, I was like... <laughs> when I when I started feeling like I thought that I may have been LGBT, um, I was pretty much constantly when I'd have a thought, I was like, oh, please don't be that, please don't be that, please don't be that, and it's because of the bad reputation that it got when I was growing up. But um, as soon as I started figuring myself out and getting my own personality and stuff, it's it now to me it's just like I don't understand how people uh. I don't see how people can just assume that, uh, I feel, <laughs> just assume that it's a choice or just assume that you can be, just be straight or be gay. You can't be anything, like, you are just who you are. So, that's, any, con is this motherfucker levitating on the left? Okay. I'm gonna act like I didn't see that. The only thing that I label myself as is LGBT, and that's because I've dated women before and now I'm with a guy. To me, it, it's just who you are. It's what's, it's, and it's just simple as that. I'm so lucky to have a good support system because when I came out, like there was no, there was no issue. None of my, the only issue that I had was with my dad, but <laughs> that wasn't even an issue. My dad wasn't in my life like my whole entire life. So his opinion didn't even matter, but I had such a good support system that I was able to just continue to be myself and grow from that. The best thing you can be to an LGBT person is just to be there. Be their friend. Like, if you don't want to be friends with somebody, then you don't have to be. Don't be friends with uh, someone just be just because they're gay. You don't have to do that. Just If one of your friends just happened to be gay or something, then don't treat them any different. It's, it's unnecessary. Did you lose any friends over your decision? Thankfully, I did not. Uh, I had a great support system. All my friends uh, supported me. I can't think of a single person, one of my friends, and which just shows how supportive my friends were. Uh, none of them, I, I, I don't think I lost any friends, period. Which, that's, and I'm, I'm thankful for that because uh, I know that that is not how a lot of them goes. And it's sad that that stuff happens, but it does. If you lose a friend over being who you are, then you don't need that kind of negativity in your life anyways. I like how I'm uh, giving life advice while playing Fall Dudes. <laughs> now I'm about to die! Damn it, I dove right into the pink. Right into the pink. But uh, yeah, the only person that I lost and I didn't even really lose him because I didn't have a relationship with him was uh, my dad. And I did that because I wanted to, uh, yeah. And that's it. <laughs> I, I did that because I wanted to. He told me, I told him about how I was, and then he told me that I was confused, and he wasn't in my life long enough at all, period, to tell me what I was, and I told him that. I wanted to bring my uh, boyfriend to Thanksgiving or something. No, they invited me, and I was like, okay, well, I'm bringing Dakota because we're together. And he was like, well, just don't be loving on each other on the couch and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like... First off, we didn't plan on it. I'm not going to give anybody a show unless they pay me. I also was like, don't tell me how to have a relationship. And I was, he was like, just don't do that. I said, okay, I won't. And I didn't show up for Thanksgiving. And I never, I haven't talked to him in two years. So, also, like, that's another thing. If your parents feel a type of way about it, if they try to disown you, then they need to rethink their life.